people welcome back to my youtube channel elite view principal i'm your host shaheen today we are trying to answer a very important question and the question i'm pretty sure a lot of people are thinking that even after the reversal of friday what is expected to happen how far is the um, bull market uh, that we have already seen going on how far it is left and are we actually buying it all the time high and how bad is it so we're trying to go to answer for that um, for those questions for gold and silver we we'll look at it uh, not only that we'll also look at the uh, US stock market that includes Dow Jones and Nasdaq and S&P 500 so let's start let me delete this thing so you can actually get some idea what you're looking for the very important thing to understand is that we are in a bullish market so you do not when you get into the purely uh, bullish market uh, you do not expect all sorts of correction prices move sharply in a very small period of time not only that along with that uh, today is also news come there there's a, a war probability going high between iran and uh, um, Israel and its uh, partners so that is one thing but we had already seen the wave going on from the bottom right over here so the fundamentals are not looking high the stock market is at all-time high and a lot of people are expecting uh, to be a huge correction um, including myself not a correction a bear market actually in stock market so if you look gold in that and also you need to see how much money has been printed throughout the world uh, during COVID so gold was pretty late very very late to reflect on those changes in the our econ economies and I believe this is the time that we are actually looking into it so gold is absolutely in a stunning uh, bullish market uh, do not expect the prices of gold to fall back somewhere over here not gonna happen rather we will start from over here uh, actually we should start from over here for now just ignore this because uh, this has taken months the correction has taken months we're gonna focus on this wave pattern which is right over here wave one and two and you can look at it that wave three and four and five that's what we're expecting the potential to be uh, 3600 and then we shall see some of our correction and then go up further that so within the five wave structure this round one we have also smaller waves as well so we have wave one and two and right now we are looking at an extended wave hence the very long wave of wave three we are ex looking into an extended wave three and within that extended wave three we're also looking that even with that extended wave has third wave extended in it so it's a lot of uh, price movement that we are seeing interesting price movement i'm absolutely bullish on gold and silver both of them here's the chart that we are trying to fo bring focus on it an important point i wanted to uh, bring your attention to it is that the signature sign of an extended wave right from the bottom the signature sign of the extended wave here is that if you look at the duration wave duration the price uh, of wave one is approximately equal to right over here too and then we are not going to consider over there because we are considering that a correction so this top is uh, this wavelength is almost equal to this one and this is uh, one of the most common uh, pattern that we can see in wave extensions so from now this on we can expect for uh, prices of uh, the similar uh, length going on uh, we can have an exception there is a possibility that we can see wave 3 which is we're going to be wave 3 of 3 of 3 is going to be quite lengthier so we can keep that in mind we, there is a possibility we can actually um, keep that in mind so we need to bring that over here and there is a possibility that by the time uh, this wave is over we are touching somewhere around 2900 just below 3000 we can potentially touch 3000 and we are talking about this this is expected to happen within next uh, couple of months next two to three months we are expecting almost uh, six to uh, 600 700 dollars price increase per ounce in the price of gold so this is uh, the reason labeling is very crucial at this point is give you an indication um, that where we are right now so i was expecting a pullback but i did not forecast the pullback i was waiting for a pullback to happen so i can actually go 
uh, with the vein right over here. So we are right now considering it as wave A, wave B, and wave C. The wave 2 is expected to be completing uh, anywhere soon in this price range. And then we can use the previous low, which is at 22.71, uh, to go long. All right. We do not want to use any lows further than below that. So the nearest low that we have is 22.75 or 22.70 is the low to go long in gold. And I'm expecting the next. Uh, Next two weeks are absolutely going to be uh, bullish before we can actually see some uh, solid correction, something like this. All right, we have seen almost $100 drop. A lot of people are surprised that okay, what happened on Friday? And I'm much, pretty much bought into the very bottom of um, the stocks that I'm interested in it. So it's a very important point. We are bullish at this point, and the important point to keep in mind is that wavelength of this wave and the wavelength of this wave are almost equal, which is a classic signature for a clear a wave three extension. And I'm expecting that we are going to see even the third wave further extended as well. Being said that, we are just about to go into wave three of three of three, so we can actually see even larger wave. Be really careful. Now silver, when I indicated in my last video that silver expected to go to around $30 and I got a comment that, okay, uh, you, you know, you, uh, something like saying that you probably uh, moved your chart too quickly and you were too probably, something like on that, that I was probably too bullish on silver. So once the start thing starts happening, things move very sharply. So we need to bring in um, an important point and that is that we are approaching an important resistance right over here. So we are approaching a very important resistance and we have seen a correction wave. Then I believe that we will be able to clearly go through this and not only this, that this is a one and two and this length is almost equal to the previous length right from the bottom over here. Once again, indicating there's a high possibility that we are expect going through an extended wave and hence the labeling right over here. So, so this is wave one, green wave one and green wave two. And right now from the bottom, we are into the extended third wave. And within the third wave extension, we are looking that the third wave is further seems extended. So let's and the potential target I'm looking, there is a possibility that uh, within a couple of months, we are going to see um, silver touching $40 easily, easily. And if that does that, that will actually surpass quite a lot of uh, resistance zone as well. So silver is definitely into the bullish run. We got to keep an eye on that. Let's have a look and, uh, on four hourly chart. If you cannot see the pattern, let's have a good look on hourly time frame. And the important point I wanted to make once again is that this pattern that we are considering is an A, B, and C pattern. All right, is not something that uh, that we have not seen before in the history, and a lot of people are going to scare it. And before the next move goes on, um, you can definitely use the previous low to go long, which is 26.35 to go long. We have almost dropped one dollar, uh, almost like two dollars. Right, so almost two dollar drop, which is amazing, uh, given the price of silver, we almost touched thirty dollars. So keep an eye; it's a, it's a corrective point. You can go long by using the previous stop loss, keeping at previous low. Do not put, in case if this is price reversal has happened, then it's not going to do good. Putting your stop loss right over here is not going to do any good. Be really careful and be uh, use financial uh, intelligence in. Uh, putting how much money you want to put in gold and silver. A couple of things I wanted to indicate. Uh, believe me, uh, Euro was just, this is a Newmont Corporation, and Newmont Corporation was right over here at the bottom when I made my purchase and with Lemon I made some more purchase and I was waiting at the top right over here. I was waiting for the pullback. We got a pullback, and at the end of the day, I did make another purchase at the bottom. Um, so that's a very good move. Uh, for a new month, we are expecting further high and high prices. Uh, new month is way um, lacking quite a bit. So very interesting times for you. New month, if you're looking for some strong company, they just made a purchase of about twelve billion dollar um, gold mining company in Australia. So pretty amazing for that. And I believe that all of that is going to come back and there's a possibility that within the next couple of months, we can see prices to back right over here, uh, somewhere around $73, $74, $75 uh, next couple of months. So there's once prices gets in there, uh, then, you know, it will look a little more expensive for people to buy and it'll keep going buying up. So 
I'm absolutely bullish. All this wave from the bottom is wave one, and we are considering this as wave two. And right now we are in wave three, so we are definitely near time target is somewhere seventy-five dollars. This top that we have right over here, which is seventy-two dollars actually. Another th uh, thing that I am um, bullish on is Metalla. So I am bullish on Metalla, given uh, the design of the company is a royalty company. Uh, so it's, it's trading very low. Uh, the high that it made is 1687. I put a very small amount in it. So it's not a large portion that I put in it. My large portion went into Newmont. Uh, another thing, this is both of these are gold. I risked a tiny bit of uh, my own uh, for uh, Zakatak Silver Corp, just in case, so that I can have some exposures to Zakatak. It's a uh, it's a risky business because it's a new business compared to to the so it's I think right now it's uh, the whole company's worth somewhere around. 30 million maybe or maybe 40 million i'm not exactly sure the figure about it you can go and do your own research i am bullish on zakatakis it almost gave us a hundred percent of the bottom it was 10 uh, 10 cents right over here and i'll go on a daily chart so i can show you uh, how much it has given us i i joined it on uh, i took the stock on on Friday when Friday closed so I bought it right at the top of this right over here but you can give just a month ago or, or even less than that we were trading right over here at 10 cents and right now 27 cents almost 170 percent 75 percent already uh, from the bottom prices if someone had bottom bought and bottom but once again be really careful there's a lot of risk involved in newer companies uh, newer mining companies as well so do your own research in that and now the important point that we want to see is the u.s stock market uh, we have seen quite a bit of bearish price action in u.s stock market and we'll look into it we'll also look into crypto but first of all let's have a look at the stocks so dojon is uh, doing pretty interesting thing this is nasdaq Let's start from the Dow Jones, okay, and then we'll go down. So Dow Jones is not even ready to go on the back side. And my previous analysis that I told you guys, uh, which is right over here, that this wave that actually, let me go back in case someone missed it. So what I said is that I'm expecting the larger pattern is right over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C. An alternate account is there's a quite a possibility that we have actually seen some other sort of wave completing right over here and and we'll keep coming down but for now the wave structure that we are looking right now is wave a wave b and wave c that's where we are looking at right now we have clearly seen uh, in i previously totally told that the support line is very important and we have clearly seen the break of that support line so this is a swing that we are waiting for in dow jones at least if the larger structure identification is correct in that case we are waiting for the prices to come further down back to somewhere around 29,000. right now it is at close to 38,000. so we've already broken the support line clearly giving us an indication that the top has been made right over here so this will keep on pushing the prices lower i'm clearly bearish on it so just um, we're not looking at the small time frame corrections right now the larger stand stays on bearish on Dow Jones uh, given this top right over here. I believe that the top has been formed right over here at this point. S&P 500 is showing some strength. It's not dropped as much, but we have clearly uh, seen the drop of the, uh, sorry, we have clearly seen that the support line uh, support has been clearly uh, broken not only just broke it also rechecked as well so we have this structure that forming and i want to look at into uh do jones do jones even didn't complete that structure is so bearish so look at this structure that we are looking at right this is a definitely a correctional structure and the correctional structure is actually uh, retesting that support area so very very 
positive sign to go on the bearish side uh, i'll stay bearish till we actually see another uh, corrective pattern and then we'll give some wave labeling but the potential target for s p 500 is once again on the bottom of the previous structure right over here so this is a structure that we are looking into it wave a wave b and wave c and uh, we look into the larger patterns to find a possibility there could could there be continuation of the pattern there definitely could be a continuation of that So the next thing let's have a look is nasdaq right that's nasdaq so let's have a look on the hourly time frame chart this is hourly and i wanted to sorry i wanted to show the support line You can clearly see that the support has been broken and we've also completed a correctional pattern right over here too once again giving us an indication that we have most probably seen the top right over here and we are looking for a larger swing uh, pattern to complete which is right over here this is the pattern that we are looking at right now for nasdaq before we can go further um, we can actually look into because before we actually we can close it we need to look at uh, bitcoin and see how bitcoin is doing so here's the uh, in my previous analysis i told you guys that we are looking for the larger pattern to be exactly as we are looking at the market we are looking at the larger pattern as wave w wave x and wave z right over here a lot of people say are we going back to 10,000 15,000 let's say it doesn't go back to 10,000 the potential target is 20,000 on the bearish side for Bitcoin uh, we can go on a four hourly time frame and I in my previous analysis I told you guys that there's a possibility that we can actually see truncation happening for the wave 5 right over here so something went wrong definitely either we can see that we have completed wave five right over here double top and clear truncation because we clearly uh, have started the bearish move already right here so there's a possibility that we have already seen the top right over here the prices need to break clearly 60,000 point which is right now at 59,000 59,000 need to break clearly to give us an indication that we have seen the top so 150, 159,000 breaks, and uh, that will be a clear, uh, uh, you know, indication that we have seen the swing top at right over here, and we are going further low. So I'm bearish on uh, crypto. Uh, let's have a look how Matic is doing. I have a quick look on the chart. Oof. Oh my God. I <laughs> look it dropped 50% of a little already 1.282 so we definitely have seen a border a top in crypto okay and we can do it fetch from 340 uh, to 160 once again a 50% drop we have seen the top right over here you can clearly see um, an A, a B, and a V1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and a 5 structure. We are looking for the prices to come further down right over here, back in the same zone. It's coming into the same zone right over here. Okay. The, we had an amazing run, um, but we are coming down and it went sharply down. My God. My God. So maybe we'll see at the bottom and we'll see some movement like this. All right. Matic, we have already seen Solana. Yeah, we have seen the top right over here. Okay. Actually, Solana is more beautiful. We can clearly see wave A, wave B, wave 1, 2, 
wave 3, wave 4, and wave 5, a smaller wave on the downside, a correction, deep correction, and downside. So going from 210 to uh, 120 is quite a bit of move. And I gave this call. Uh, you guys can go back to my channel when you're top right over here. And I was criticized for that, which is fine, which is fine. So here is go. <laughs> From 4,000 to 3,000, we have already lost 25% of the top value. And we can see not only that, we didn't even create a new high in Ethereum. So there is a possibility that we are looking for this swing and that swing and another swing down back around somewhere around 500-ish uh, target. Let's have a quick look. We can actually bring this one step further and that will be our target right over here. For Ethereum, our target is $480. So, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Here we go. Now, Hedra, look at the swing. The structure is completely different. All right. While Bitcoin almost created double top, double bar, double top with the previous top, Hedra didn't even go there. All right, completely gibberish. I believe that the, the crypto that actually created double top will have some or will actually a deep movement, just like Ethereum did, right? Almost uh, very second top, very close to the top previous top. All right, so this tells you the strength of the crypto. So I would say Solonium, um, you know, Solana is pretty good pick for the next bullish run. And uh, we look at fetch which is pretty good it made a new high as compared to the previous one now for the crypto you need to use a logarithmic chart that gives you much better picture all right so now this does not look that absurd okay this gives you an idea how how low we are going anyway that's end uh, xrp no chance of revival let's have a look no chance. Towards coin, a lot of people were, yeah. Uh, let me. I'm looking at. No chance for Doge coin. There, the possibility maybe it'll pick up on the next bullish run, but for now we have completed the bull market. Clear indication. Shibinu. No chance of reversal. Because we have just started the bearish market in um, in the generic market. And look at how these coins are already doing. This is already pump and dump. Okay. This is horrible. Matic, I loved it. Not really good either. Yeah, Matic is not doing really great as well. However, Matic is doing one thing special. It is looks like it's giving a completely different pattern. Anyway, if we will further discuss maybe a special video on Bitcoin. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.